right ladies um i've been asked well i've had an email or two i think it's two i had uh, last night to um do a tutorial on the vintage tags which i'm going to do for you um, i won't do it today because i'm going to get the stuff together um but first of all what i want to show you is my little box of goodies and these are all the things i, I use every scrap of paper card you name it i use it and i make things with it and I know some of these are not going to be for now, you'll use them for Christmas decorations, but um, I don't know, it might give you an idea to put them on your cards or, or whatever. Now I never ever waste, um, if somebody sends me a birthday card, a Christmas card or whatever, I never waste them. I always see if I can recycle them. I mean, this was, uh, even my children, my grandchildren, they all save me the cards and um, we recycle them. And like this come off my daughter, my granddaughter's birthday card last month. Um, it was just stuck on there, so I've took that off. Um, there were some flowers, um, like a 3D effect, so I took those off. Um, lots and lots and lots of different things. Even cut the words out because they're only, you know, I don't know if you can see that, cute pie. Why waste? <laughs> I just don't believe in waste. So anyway, what I'm going to show you is this little box of goodies. And um, using up all these... Um, things that you take off cards and whatever and and so these uh, Christmas decorations or you can just hang them around your room I don't know wherever you want them children like them in the bedrooms and that my granddaughters have theirs um, these are just some little uh, dolly things that I had made out of flower petals um, little legs of um, like a twine and then a little bobble on the end put onto some cardstock on the back just glue on uh, sorry, just glue on some um, like a oh, what's it called? This now I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Let me have a look because I have it in a, a box. Um, at pipe cleaners, do you know? I just couldn't think of what it was called. Pipe cleaners. I have a, a, a wad of those of different colours, different textures, and we make these nice little things. Um, again, took these off um, a Christmas card um, and made a little disc up, put a little wreath on, a bit of uh, twine. So that'll do for next year's. Uh, just keep them safe. I keep them in a uh, plastic container um, and seal them up. So they'll go on the Christmas tree next year. Great for when the kids come round because my grandchildren every year always come round and uh, decorate the tree. Um, it's something they've done since they they could walk um, and they look forward to it so again little wire butterflies on the back of a red heart uh, sorry on the front of a red heart again a little bit of paper a striped card and a, a tag and these I don't know if it, I'll show them that way because I've got um, I put contrasting colours on for the uh, handles all this is a little bit of white card um, like a mesh like a green mesh that I uh, stuck on the back of that added a button pearly button and then a little uh, foam flower and a silk flower little yellow silk flower um, these are just some embellishments I had spare little flowers I get these from a lady in Wales I think you get about a hundred in a bag all different colours I use them a lot and uh, just cut out the shape of the uh, with the uh, fancy scissors Again, that goes um, on the Christmas tree. Another one. This was the old type flower that I had. It was just, they were already pre-cut and I use them all the time. But uh, don't do that now with the primers and whatever. And being able to make my own. Just some little pink trim. All it is is gathered and put between. I've done it on the front of the card and then I did a disc on the back to hide it. So like that. Again. Uh, I mean these are some of what me and the ch uh, grandchildren made so um, just some little foil leaves on the bottom bit of bling uh, some uh, braiding which I must try and get hold of that braiding because it's quite nice that one I must try and get that one again uh, lots of these like I say I'll try and find something different to show you might not have any here but you can see we just sit for hours and hours and hours making things the girls love it all this work, flower is is a foam one uh, with a, a spots on and then another foam one and a black 
Oh, I wanted a black rose the other day and I couldn't find one. Mm, could have dismantled that. <laughs> oh, yeah, recycle constantly. That's me. And like I say, there's lots and lots of them. Um, this was just a little embellishment I had. Stuck it on the back of a card. Then added that card to another one with a border. Hand uh, used a gel pen, silver gel pen. Um, and then put a tag on it. This one, um, I mean, coming up to Christmas, I will be showing how to do these. I know you don't want to hear Christmas now, but um, there's a lot of things you can make for Christmas decorations, and I've got a ton of them. But um, what I did with this one was cut the circle out, then used, um, uh, well, cut the shape out like a window. This is material on the back, on the back of that one, and then just laid the white circle on top put a little star on and you've got another decoration simple real quick and easy to make this one's a little bag i'm going to be showing which you can um well you can use them for parties actually we you know put sweets in them for parties this is only a small one but you can make them bigger and it's just foil card sorry can you see that foil card folded into a cone little butterfly on Um, edged in some trim, some glitter pipe cleaner, a little handle, and you've got a little sweet thing. You can hang them from your Christmas tree as well. This one again is using that um, the wire mesh um, ribbon that I use often. Just gathered it around, stuck it on the back, then uh, added another piece on to hide the mess, and uh, glittered it up. Here's again, little bunny one. You can give that as a, a, an Easter card. Um, just different decorations of kids doing that. Um, I did buy some Easter egg. Um, it was out of this material. Lovely, it's like embossed material. And uh, there were Easter eggs, so I just trimmed off the top, made it into a circle and put that on. Um, these light up in the dark with the star, the star lights up in the dark. Um, I think that's it. But like I say, I try not to waste anything at all. Um, I also like doing these. I'm not sure if you can see that. Now that's my homemade glimmer mist. You can see that shine. Let me see if I can turn it round. It's. Um, right and what it is i've cut a flower out it's a big flower i've cut it out of um, a piece of paper that i didn't want anymore i didn't want to throw it out either and glimmer misted it with my homemade glimmer mist and added some of the bling these are oval and just glued them on with um the glossy accents and then put a little ladybird on now i will put that somewhere um, and add that to a book or something or a card but yeah just like testing things out um, also going to be using uh, doing this one I'm going to be showing you this just let me shift these out of the way just pop those down there going to be doing this one at some point and uh, it's just another paper fold i like finding new ways of putting things in a book um which you can do if i remember rightly it's that way yeah so you just glue that into your book or your, your mini and then you can decorate it how you want and it unfolds like that all different ways lots and lots and lots of journaling and um, all it is is an A4. Just show you. It was A4. It isn't an A4. It's a 12 by 12 sheet. 12 by 12 sheet cut a certain way that folds up into um, a 3 by 3 square. And then 
like I say, lots.